Welcome back to the channel. We had a fabulous five weeks in Australia with our daughter and visiting the sites over there. But here we are back in Scotland. We sure are and it's good to be out and about in Scotland once again. We're in Lass today which is on the banks of Loch Lomond. We're taking our new camper van out for the first time so it's a good opportunity for us to let you see it. And the new camper van, it's the Swift Carrera 144. I suppose you want to see it then, don't you? All right, <laughs> it's right here. Our new camper van is the Swift Carrera 144. There are five Carreras in the range, varying in length and layout. The 122 and 144 are six meters long, and the 132, 184 and 194 are 6.36 meters. We went for the 144 because we wanted the shorter length with the front lounge. The main colour of the van is Lanzarote grey, combined with darker grey sections outlined in light blue. There's also a bit of a Union Jack theme going on, and quite right too. After all, Swift is a British company and these vans are built in Yorkshire. The van has 16 inch alloy wheels and the contrasting chrome and black design complements the van colours really well. Right, let me just show you the bits on the outside of the van and then we'll get inside for the juicy bits. Starting on the passenger side. The flap here and behind this, that's where your diesel goes and the add blue as well. This is for your water. Just put the water in there, fit your hose in. And there's a little gas barbecue point at the back here as well. I'm not sure if we'll use that or not, but it's nice to have, isn't it? Round the back of the van, we've got a reversing camera. Um, and also, there's a, it's an always-on camera. So you can use it like a rear-view mirror. Now, that's not standard. That's something that we've had fitted on the van. And there's parking sensors as well down at the bottom there. A bit belt and brace, braces, but never mind. Around this side, we've got your electric hookup point. That's your toilet cassette. And this is a little outside shower point because we know how much Kira enjoys her outside showers, <laughs> if only. And there you go. That's a view of the van from the front. All right, let's get inside. So opening the van, here, my favourite part. Ta-da! You love that, don't you? Yeah, I do love that. And also outside, we can have table for gin o'clock, or rum o'clock, or wine o'clock, or whiskey o'clock. Whatever o'clock. And here's an external three pin plug, which is really good as well. We also have the full awning that runs the length of the van. And underneath that, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there is a LED strip light. Yeah, so there's no more driving away without the step then? No, when you start the engine and move off, the step does go in, because we've checked that. <laughs> and there's no more driving over the step either? No. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. You're all looking very comfortable in here. Kira thinks so too. <laughs> Don't you, Kira? You think it's very comfy. I like her little doggy blanket that you've got down. Oh, yes, look, she likes it too, look. So this is the Fiat Decato that this van is based on and you can just about see the dash there. There's the steering wheel, lots of buttons on there for your media controls so you can change channels, adjust volume and it's a 2.2 litre engine, 140 brake horsepower and we've went for the automatic version. It's a 9 speed automatic gearbox, that's it there. And there's the uh, fairly large display that we have it's got that Apple Play and Android Play, is that what you call it? Yeah. It's got that on there, which is quite a useful thing to have. But the lounge itself, I think it's lovely, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's got this beautiful big table and you can actually extend the table out. I'm just worried I'm going to hit here. But this table turns right round and it sits about here. I'll move it back because it... That'll be quite useful at times. Most of the times I think we'll probably keep it down as it is, but yeah. if we need it, it's there. Yeah. 
And again, you've got two more uh, overhead lockers and a little ducket at the bottom end. Under there, you've got an aerial point, which you could have a TV hooked up. I don't think we'll use the aerial no. point. You never know, because we just tend to stream things, don't we? Yeah, and you've got a three-pin plug. But in the armrest, you've got two USBs. So if you're somebody who was travelling and need to charge their phone, then you can use that or use it when you're sitting at the table. Yeah, that's quite useful. Yep. You've got opening windows at this side, which is really good. Now, these windows, apparently, they're um, double glazed, aren't they? Yes. But it's not glass. It, no, it's like perspex. A, uh, type perspex yeah, stuff. but they are double glazed. Yeah. And it's got the screens on that, is it? Yes. Just like all the others, it's got the screens. Pulley up screens and pulley no down cuttings. screens. <laughs> eh? No more curtains. No, thank goodness for that. Yeah. Right, what are you showing me next? So, underneath this big seat that Kira's sitting on, there is a huge cupboard. It's got some gubbins in it, but there is lots of space for storage. Yeah. All right. You happy so far, Kira? You want to see the kitchen next? All right. Kitchen's next. Okay. In the kitchen, you've got a pull-out bucket. Fancy schmancy. I like that. And then this is an extension. Give it a little wiggle, which is really good as well, and you can still get round there if you needed to go in or out the van. So we've got the sink, excuse the, ke the kettle in there, and we have a two burner hob gas. We always found in Maggie that two burners was fine for us, so that's what we've got here. There's not a huge amount of work surface, is there? But I think it'll be enough for us. For us, yes, it's plenty. I mean, it's it's probably about the same as we had in Maggie. But then you've also got the table, and I could always pull this round. Yeah, you could so do. So I'll show you. You can actually... Now Kira's off that seat. You can actually turn it round. So I could actually have a wee bit more space yeah, if I wanted it. you could. Up above, we've got a big cupboard... You've this just is about the, filled it already. This is the pulley for the TV aerial. So I can't see us using it. But what I did was I bought this because it was just a big cupboard and I thought that's a bit of a waste. So I've separated it and that was out of Donnell. Yeah. And in here you have the fresh and waste water dump and it's just electronic. back so it's really good over here you've got a light switch which lights up he round here the footwell and then you've got light switch for that one as well you've got a huge cupboard which is under the sink at the top of it we've got our pots and pans and then underneath I've stuck a shelf on and I can put my cleaning products in and there's a wee rolly out tray and that's for Kira's stuff. Might change, who knows, but that's what we've got just now. This is your cutlery drawer. Huge drawer for us. We had a wee tiny thing in Maggie. A little oven and grill, which is luxury. Might be tiny, but we love it. Under here, you've got two drawers. Again, which are really good. We have a compressor fridge in this van, really good size, so it's open that way. And then it also opens this way. And what I love about it is the fact that it's high up. Yes. No more trying to get in, like we had with Maggie on my knees, trying to shove everything in. Underneath the fridge is what's classed as the wardrobe. But we won't be using it. And in the door, I got these. These are chopping boards and they're Joseph Joseph and you just stick them on and it's a good place to have them because it's right outside the kitchen. On the outside of the bathroom you've got these hooks which you just pull out. These will be really good and this can a mirror effect. And the bathroom also has a tampered door. 
which is really good because you're not infringing into the space. And it's magnetic, so you've got to give it a wee pull. I'll show you in the bathroom now. In the bathroom, we have a skylight. So that also has the mesh. So if we have that open, no bugs should be able to get in. It's a marble effect, kind of wet wall stuff. And there's a little hook up here just to hang your towels. A little bathroom cabinet, which as usual, we've already got filled with stuff. A mirror. Hi! Up here we have the shower, shower head, and also one of these pull down hangy things that we can put our wet clothes on, etc. Hook them up there. I've put a little hook on here and we've got a little towel. Here is the sink, usual, just pull it down and then you've got a hot tap and cold tap. I've stuck on a soap dish, we've got lovely lemon soap. Our toothbrush and toothpaste holders. Here is the toilet holder and the toilet holder is covered so that it doesn't get wet when you're having a shower. Got a little bucket in here which I've put in. Then you've got your toilet and no there's nothing in there. And it's an electronic flush. There's also this lovely duckboard, which I really like as well to stop the bottom of it getting ruined. So I do really like the blue at the back as well. I've not decided what I'm going to stick on here, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. So moving towards the back, we'll go to the lounge area now. And I'll just open the doors for you. Hi there. So we've got barn doors on this van that open out and my assistant will help with that. Thank I you. Will. The back part is actually your double bed, but it's also, as we've got it set up just now, as a seating area, which is really nice because you can open the doors and have a look at the view. What we can do is we can take off the table and this gets stored in this cupboard here. So we've moved that table out of the road just to give me a bit more space to show you everything in here. So you've got one, two, three, four kind of overhead lockers like you do in a, an airplane. So they're very, very sleek and that's part of what we loved about this van. And very deep. So I can't even reach it back in my tippy toes. We've got these, which I think are supposed to be for magazines, so we're not 100% what we would use these for. I might make something like a bag or something that can fit in there. All the windows have netting for midges and such like, and they also have privacy blinds. So all the windows and the, the sky roof things. Skylights is the word I'm looking for. They've all got them as well, which is really good. These two wee shelves I've put in, these are plastic, so they're quite lightweight and they were just stuck on. So they're easy to remove if we decide we don't like them. But you can also remove them if you had guess and they were going to bump their head. This is to put a TV bracket on. We're not great TV, but we might get an iPad or tablet bracket to sit on here. Up here, you've got two speakers. So when you're playing music via the dash, it comes through on here. This is the storage for the front table. And we can show you that set up in next. Along here, you've got two USBs, two USBs and a three pin socket. There's also the socket for your TV aerial, along with light switches there, there, and also here, which light up here. Might not be so good to see in the daylight, but it gives a nice LED comfortable light. Under the back seat there are two drawers, so the cupboard opens like that, and you've got one, and you've got the exact same on this side. Under this seat with this big cushion. Watch yourself, TV. Big girl. So under here, we have, this is for your gas. It does take two 3.9 kilo bottles 
At the moment we've got one in it, it's a flow gas and we've got a small camping gas one to take when we're going to Europe. On this side is your electric and there's also a bit of storage in here as well. There's a small area of storage just at the back of the van down here. And the first thing you probably notice is that the first casualty is the little catch here has broken off. So I went and closed this door while this door was still open and scissor effect, it's just taken that catch right off. However, that's what it looks like inside. There's not a great deal of storage in there because there is a drawer but we managed to keep the electric hookup and the little funnel in here. The control panel for the van is just above the door here. If I press this button here, it shows you all these display lights coming up. That's your leisure battery, that's your vehicle battery, and the different tanks that you have around the van. There's indicators for these too. And also, this shows you where the power's coming from. So we are an electric hookup, so that's displayed there. And then over here, if I just swipe my hand in front of that, that there is for your hot water, and this there is for your heating. Well, we've decided we're going to show you the bed next, because before the light fades, yes. we'll get the bed down and we'll let you see that. But it's also nice for us just to have a wee break from filming as well, because we are actually having a little break, aren't we? Having yes, a break away. a break away, yeah. So, and look at that view. How stunning is that? It's just absolutely incredible. You know, sometimes you have to nip yourself and think we are actually here on the banks of Loch Lomond in Scotland because the views here are just quite, quite incredible, yes. aren't they? And you can even see the snow on top of Ben Lomond. You can. Right, we're going to show you the bed makeup. Right. I'm going to show you the bed makeup now. So you have to take off all these cushions. So I just pop them in here, out the road. No, you can't go in yet, Kira. You wait. You have to turn this one. It's slightly wedged. Then you can put this one back on and you can see the bed has a slight cut here so that has to go towards the back end. Do the same on this side, take this one off. Pop it in there. Take this one off. Ooh. And on this side is the actual bed frame. So we have to unclip here and unclip here. This is the little clips here. It just looks like a little snib. Yeah, like a little snib. From you your just, bathroom door, doesn't it? Yeah, you just pull them back, but they're on a kind of wee springy. And this is a Heimer bed, isn't it? Yeah, I think the frame is a Heimer frame or Hammer, whatever way you want to say it. Heimer, I think it is. So, what so you do it should be pretty good. Is you pull this up. Yep. There is a strap, hold the strap, then you can, oh, bear in mind I've only done this once, you pull the strap, flex that down, and then you get out the road, and you pull this up, lift the bed up, and there's two hooky bits there. So that's your frame. It looks quite easy to do. Like yeah. you say, once we've done it a few times. Yeah. It's a lot easier than it was with Maggie. Yeah. And then you just put that cushion back on. Again, making sure the wedge is down because it props up the bed at that side. Yeah. Make sure you put these on. These are your inserts. I noticed that you're putting the cushions facing up the way. Yes, we had a discussion with the uh, guy who did the handover with Brown Hills. And you can turn them up the other way, but we are testing them this way. Because we feel if this is on the bottom, it might get marked with the wood. We're not 100%. Yeah. 
So we've got the bed like this, and this is a, a double bed. Slightly shorter length because it's six foot one, I think, or six foot in length. So Mike's only five foot ten, so he's okay. He just has to make sure that he curls his toes up a bit. And on top of this, I got a topper. And this is a panda topper. I've got it round the wrong way, so I'll just twist it. And you can get these online. And at that minute, we have the tractor man just going away. Turn on, Mr. Tractor Man. And just give him a minute, will we? Yeah, let's give him the a minute. The guys are working on the campsite today. You can't really say, whoa, we're filming, just stop. <laughs> I think they'd tell us where to get off. Right, in the meantime, Trish has just about got this bed made up. And as if by magic. My assistant can push down that corner. Have you got an assistant, have you? Yes, my handsome assistant. Oh, that must be me then. Push that go. corner down. So this is a double fitted sheet. And you can see it's a double topper. And you can see it does fit. And it's very, very comfortable. Much more comfortable than what Maggie was. Yeah. Because my husband is basically the princess in the pea. And we had to have a huge fold away mattress in Maggie and an extra topper on top of that mattress. Well, I do like my comfort. Come on. So what about the bedding? Have you got the bedding to yes. put on? Well, the bedding we've got is obviously two pillows. Different pillows. They look the same, but actually I like a nice firm pillow and you like quite a soft pillow. Softer pillow than you, yeah. Definitely a softer pillow. And because we're in Scotland, we have a lovely stag themed tartan fleece duvet cover because it is cold. And again, this is a double duvet cover. And as you can see, it fits beautifully. And because we've got a fur baby who thinks she's human. Yeah, she gets up, doesn't she? Yeah, she gets up. But we have her waterproof blanket that she'll lie on for a wee bit and then she'll probably move off. So as you can see, very comfortable bed. You want one of these? I'm having one. I've started. you started? You'd no right starting without me. <laughs> We're having cinnamon swirls just to sit down and have a wee wrap up and some final thoughts about the van. Now we actually picked it up last week on the 8th of December we went down to Brown Hills. Now they are down near Nottingham aren't they? Newark. Newark yeah, near Newark. Nottingham and it was absolutely chucking it down. It was torrential rain. The plan was we were going to film the van while we were down there but it didn't quite work out because the rain was so heavy so we spent quite a bit of time just inside the showroom having a look around and uh, speaking to Sarah who was yeah. the sales rep that sold us the van. She was really really nice wasn't she? Was she was a lovely lovely lady yeah. She was very nice so unfortunately we couldn't film the van last week and that's why we've come up here to film the van at this lovely site here at Loch Lomond. Oh and we have thought about a name for yes, the van haven't we? Have. we? So you may remember Maggie was the wee Brun van, so Maggie Brun. So we had a look at the Bruns and we've decided to call her Daphne. And Daphne is the big sister of Maggie. So although it's not wee Brun van or Brun, it's, we feel it's still an association. Yeah, it kind of, it's continuity, isn't it, yes. for the channel, moving on from Maggie on to Daphne. Yeah, so anyway, that's a little bit of fun. So Daphne is the name of the van. Now I don't know when we're going to be away next because obviously it's coming up to Christmas so we would obviously like to wish everybody watching this video a very very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great time with your family and friends and we'll be off in the new year won't we? Yes we will probably uh, towards the end of January we'll be heading off somewhere depending on the weather we'll see where we go. Yeah in the meantime we're going to tuck into these cinnamon swirls aren't we? Cheers! Ching.
Ta-ra for now. Have a great Christmas. Bye. Bye.